Hi everyone, I'm K.S. Lewis and welcome to Love Dish where each week we infuse the richness of love and relationships with the goodness of great food. So let's just talk about something here. Everybody likes a nice getaway. Everybody likes warm weather and spring and summer are right around the corner. So guess what? It's time to grab bay and head on with two tickets to paradise. That's for the old people. I know some of you won't know what I'm talking about with that. But tonight, I'm sitting down with the HBIC. You heard me right. That's the head blogger in charge, Ms. Angela Perry of thisdateisover.com. And we're going to talk about the best places to take Bay on vacation. We're going to talk about do's and don'ts, places you can go, and places you should stay away from. You don't want to miss out on this conversation. So in my best flight attendant gear, Take your seats, fasten your seatbelts, go to the bathroom, and meet me right back here on Love Dish. K.S. Lewis on Love Dish, and my guest tonight is Miss Angela Perry. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited that you're here. We're going to talk about vacations, vacations. That's a vacation with the bay, right? I want to make sure. So for any of, well, before we get started, though, I want people to know who you are, what you do, all of that kind of stuff. Okay. Like she said, I'm Angela, I'm the founder of ThisDateIsOver.com. It's a blog site for people to post their bad date stories. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of bad dates, so I figured I'd memorialize them on a website, but also encourage people to, to send me their stories, because I know I'm not the only one. No, you're That's not. That's not a bad date. No, I've had a few quite recently, so oh, I need tell, to Tell answer. me all about them, please. <laughs> I might need to be a guest blogger, because I'm always having a bad date. Please. But, <laughs> you can learn what not to do on this date. That's true. That's true. And so what fueled your passion to begin to just... How does how do you keep that going? Like, do people write into you? Do they call? Like, how does that work? They write in. Okay. They write in. We have a submission page, or just like a casual conversation mm-hmm. with people. I'll talk to them, and I'll say, "Well, you should email me that story right. about that date. I need that for my site." So awesome. I, I might harass a couple of people. Yeah, they forget. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, and so tonight we're going to talk about vacationing with Bay mm-hmm. and just like the do's and don'ts, because I'm sure. Being able to sift through bad dates themselves, you can give us some pointers on what what to do and what not to do. Correct? I'm still learning what to do. Right. <laughs> Me too, John. Right. So, <laughs> and what are we actually making tonight? Tonight we're going to make a French martini. Ooh. It's very simple, sexy. Okay. It has a nice little sweetness to it. So okay. that's what we're going to make today. I like it. I like it. And I see we have all the goodies on the table just waiting to be yes. put together and devoured. So what we're going to do is come right back. We're going to head in the kitchen and get started. All right. All right. Come right back with us on Love Dish. We'll see you soon. Welcome back to Love Dish. I'm K.S. Lewis with tonight's special guest, Ms. Angela Perry. Hey. 
And we are getting ready to make a French martini. So yes. I am super excited because that's a very sophisticated, classy drink. And simple. And simple. Somewhat of a girly drink. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hey, nice for girls night. Nice for, for all kinds of activities. Yes. So run us through, like, just what is in it. Okay. French martini. It's, it's really simple. Uh, it's vodka. It's uh, two oh. ounces of vodka. Quarter ounce of raspberry liqueur. And an ounce of some delicious pineapple juice. Mm. So, shall I start pouring or you? Well, yeah, of course. And then, I mean, I guess you can just garnish it with anything you like, right? Yes. Since it has a raspberry uh, liqueur, I would mm -hmm. recommend doing a raspberry as a garnish. But you could okay. pretty much garnish it with anything okay. you like. Well, I like to garnish mine with just more um, vodka. So. Well, hey. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I always go a little overboard with the ingredients. So mm -hmm. I have raspberries, blueberries, apples, whatever your mm -hmm. heart may desire. And I, I think what you said is absolutely true. As far as with martinis, you know, the base is is what it is. And then you just kind of go from there. So um, vodka, pineapple for this one, but then you can add whatever fruit or anything else that you might yes. like. So, so let's get started. I'm going to start asking you some questions, though, while you're just kind of mixing. Cause okay. Unless you need me to, like, grab some fruit, oh, I, think I, I get to just kind of chill out on this one. I, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> even with the extra fruit, if you're out with Bay, you know, you can feed it to him because you'll have plenty left over. That's all I'm saying. First objective, find Bay. Right. And second objective, infuse <laughs> fruit to feed to him. Infuse that fruit. I like that. So I like that. I'm assuming this is one ounce, so I'm going to yes. do... I'm going to have to do, like, a couple of these. Yes. Hopefully it's not going to be too full. Do good, healthy ounces. Yes. So. <laughs> so how? So we're talking about vacations with Bay tonight. Mm -hmm. How do you decide that it's time to take a vacation? Uh, that's a hard one because it's really how you feel about it. Okay. Um, how, how you feel the, the relationship or the situation mm -hmm. is going. Mm -hmm. You know, I... It's any time for me. So okay. sometimes you just want to have that that we can get away that when it opens. So I'm gonna try this one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want to have like a little weekend getaway with Bay, and you just schedule it. I think it's really just how much you guys are feeling each other, and and just go with the flow. Right. There's really no no time set or time. So there's no telltale that. signs that oh you know. You know he said this, and so it's time for us to go on a vacation. Or we, no, we have well, five dates. So now not for it's me. time. <laughs> not for me. So now it's time to take a little weekend trip. Right. Not for me. It's just how you feel in the person. You might, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I get plenty of Groupon emails. Yes. And I see all the discounted trips. And sometimes you're like, you know what? It would be cool to get away to go to, I don't know, Atlantic City, Ocean right. City, or a quick Miami getaway and, and with Bay. And so are you saying that going going on a trip with a discounted coupon is cool? Heck yeah. Who wants to pay more price? So true. The beach <laughs> feels the same. But you know, there's for fifty dollars and at six hundred dollars. Hey, and look, I think look at me. A real good for fifty dollars. That means it's all deliciousness. That means it's gonna be awesome. out of the glass. <laughs> that looks so good. So, do you gotta be in love to go on a vacation? No. <laughs> no. She said it so fast. No. 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 You ain't gotta be in love. I mean, you might be in love with traveling, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that too. But I don't think you need to be in love. Okay. At all. Okay. Just love, love to have fun. Love to be around each other. And what's the appropriate? I think you kind of touched on this just a second ago. But what's the? Is there an appropriate level of time spent in the relationship based on like? How do I? How do I ask this? So if I've been with someone for up to six months, mm -hmm. is there a certain place we? we should go or is there like a level of trip so should we just do a weekend getaway but if we've been together a year maybe we should go a little further or two yeah. years we should be going to europe I like still say how does that work flow. okay i say go with the flow i mean you by six months i think you guys kind of have a general idea of how you feel about each other right and how Hopefully. comfortable Hopefully. you are with being alone with that person you know one-on-one -on -one for yeah. three nights Six nights, mm. 12 nights. So mm. you kind of know. Three, kind of. Three nights. I can't get my fingers right. Three nights, six nights, and 12 nights. Mm -hmm. Do I want to spend that kind of... I don't spend that kind of time with anybody. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you have to really gauge what your comfort level is. Okay. And you guys really have to communicate, too. Like, is this something that you're com like that, that he's comfortable with doing? Right. Okay. I so, like that. I like I that. I put a time stamp on it. What do you, how do you feel about cruises? Because... 
For me, like a cruise is once you're on that bad boy, is no you're stuck. You're stuck until it's time to come home. Mm -hmm. That could be a vacation from hell. Any vacation <laughs> can be a vacation from hell. But I feel like with with a cruise, you can't get away. You can only go to another activity, but then you still got to come back to that room. Right. Like if I'm away on a weekend and it just goes really, really bad, I can go home. That's true. You know? So so what do you do in that situation? I mean, if it's going that bad, <laughs> if it's going that bad, like, I think you can actually talk to the cruise ship people say, look, this dude's crazy. Put me in another can cabin. You, is it another cabin I can get into? <laughs> but in that situation, you're probably going to have to grin and bear it. Like, oh. you know what? We here. We suck. <laughs> so, but again, if you're with a person for six months, you might yeah. know what their yeah. habits are. So you might know that he farts in his sleep oh. or that he, um, you know, leaves his hair clippings in the sink. Right. So, And hopefully he's okay with my fuzzy socks. <laughs> I've said it many times. I wear fuzzy socks every single night. Mm -hmm. I don't care who is around me. If you stay long enough today, you're going to see me pull my fuzzy socks out because that's just what I do. So but hopefully that, he, you know, he's okay with those two. This looks so good. Run through the ingredients one more time. So it is vodka, mm -hmm. raspberry liqueur, mm -hmm. and pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Very I'm simple gonna, and refreshing. And so I'm going to add. Yes, and you can add those. those I'm going to add. Yeah, I'll let you grab juice. yours. I'm just going to add a couple to mine as well. And we're going to take a quick break and then taste it and see how it came out. All right. All right. So come right back with us on Love Dish. We'll see you in just a second. Welcome back to Love Dish. I'm K.S. Lewis with Angela Perry. We have our French mar martinis. And so I just want to do a quick taste because yes. they look so good. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, hello. Mm. 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 Ooh, it's good though. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That is good. That is very, very good. And it's so, so easy. Anybody can make it at home. Yes. Vodka, Chambord. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Pineapple juice. That's really it. Yeah, that's it. Right? Mm -hmm. And crushed ice if you like just to chill it out. Yes. So we're just going to, we decided that we got the drinks. We got a little snack. So we're just going to continue with our little vacation talk yeah and you were telling me a little bit about a almost vacation just Ooh. a minute ago so i don't know if you wanted to tell me a little bit more about that i love hearing about that kind of uh, stuff i could tell you uh, <laughs> i'm sure you have a lot of a lot of a lot of examples yes not saying that you go to <laughs> yes i feel like i said that wrong but you know what i mean yeah i, I knew what you meant i knew what you meant yeah um this was somebody that wasn't quite bay not we yet had, we had gone not on a few dates yet. i mm -hmm. thought he was cool um, I think I had some time off from work for the week and I said, you know what, let's take a quick road trip. Yes. Um, however, things had not gone to the intimate level. Right. So I kind of wanted to keep things above the surface. I didn't want to okay. take it there. So I let him know. I said, look, I, I think you're cool. <laughs> but, a trip. Um, but if we do go on this trip. Right. I don't want there to be any funny business. I mean, let things happen naturally. Forget so it. I just didn't want it that, um... That air of uh, the pressure. Yeah, the pressure. The pressure. So, sure. so yeah. So let's just just go. He said, "All right, I'm cool with it. It's no pressure. I, I'm fine with that. You know, great. Right. Before we supposed to leave, uh oh, maybe about five so days. I'm gonna take a sip or on so this one. before we're supposed to go. Um, <laughs> he sends me some uh very um explicit pictures. Of, oh yeah, he was trying to get you ready of, mm -hmm. of himself. <laughs> and um. <laughs> I'm like, well, uh, I thought I thought we discussed that, right. you know, we were going to kind of keep things right. um, up here, up here, <laughs> and then build to down there, <laughs> build so, building blocks. Yeah, so he <laughs> he kind of jumped the gun, and at that point, I was like, yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't think you know this date is over. I don't think uh, we should go. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable. So <laughs> me and my girlfriend, oh, wow. she and I, she and I had a good like girls week. I was gonna say, I'm instead. sure you still had a good time. Oh yeah, I'm sure you still yeah. had a good time. So. It, so, it sounds like you just gave a really perfect example, but mm -hmm. so those are some of the things that happen to set a clear divide right. on a vacation. Mm -hmm. Now, what if you are, and I think I mentioned this a little bit um, in the kitchen, if you're in the middle of the vacation, I mean, I don't even know what I would do or what mm -hmm. I would say in the event that it's not going well. <laughs> I 
don't even want to think about that. That's why I try to nip things in the bud before it even mm-hmm. happens. Just like with that guy, I could I got the sense from you know later on that he was not kind of taking heed to what I said about right. how I felt and right. how he didn't respect my boundaries. So I knew not to even bother going forward with it. But if I was actually on a trip with somebody, yeah. And what if you're too far from home? <sighs> so you what? can't get home. You can't you know you can't say this date is over and bounce. Right. What do you do? I don't know. It's like, <laughs> you have to just deal with it. Right. If it's a cruise, I'm stuck in the room. But if it's somewhere else, I can leave. You know, I just That's have true. to take that financial loss and say, you know what? I'm just going to fly out early and I'm yeah. going home. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, I want to play a little game. Okay. We always play games on this show. And so, you know, in, in this dating trending time, mm-hmm. we hear, or you see it a lot on social media where mm-hmm. people sit, put up these pictures of people, which I think is to some degree, very degrading, oh, really? and say smash or oh, pass or smash or dash or whatever. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with that game? Yes. Okay, so we're going to play it with, with location. Okay. So what I want you to do, I'm going to name a place. Mm-hmm. And if it's a smash, that means you and Bay are going, you're going to act up, you're going to have a good time, it's, it's done. Okay. You're going to crush the fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's there. Okay. A dash means that you're going to, Go, but it's in and out, no expectations. You really like, I'm just going because I've never been to this place. Okay. Okay. And then a pass is, I'm not even going to waste my time. Mm. Okay. So you ready? Smash, dash, pass. Smash, dash, or pass. Okay. Okay. So the first place is Myrtle Beach. Hmm. (laughs) I'm going to keep sipping. See, the thing is, while you're thinking about this, I think I'm different because I would still smash that because I I like to go. Anywhere and have fun. Okay. And actually, I mean, this Myrtle game is going nowhere. Right. She smashes it. Right. Place. I'm just okay. like, oh no. <laughs> I, well, maybe, maybe it's a dash then because I like Myrtle Beach, even though they have iced tea brown water, but it's still it's still fun. You know, it's things that you can do at Myrtle Beach that are fun. So shout out to the viewers at Myrtle Beach. We still love you. <laughs> yeah, we still but- love <laughs> I mean, the water is brown, but I still, but I still love like Beach. It is, it is. You know your water's brown. But <laughs> I know, you know what? With Myrtle Beach, I would say Dash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely an in-and-out spot. It is in-and-out. So because I grew up in the South, that was a place that we frequented a lot. Mm-hmm. And so I don't think there's any part of Myrtle Beach that I haven't seen. Mm. So it's not super enticing to me, but I know I can still have a good time. Yeah, and it's yeah. not super enticing to me, too. But, I mean, I still would have fun. I try, yeah. I try to make the most of it. Me too. So. Me too. All right. Next, Deep Creek Lake. Dash. <laughs> I, mean, so, I mean, I like Deep Creek. So I've never it, been. Really? I've never been. So tell me about Deep Creek. Deep Creek is just. Shout out to Deep Creek. Hey, Deep Creek. No. <laughs> it's, it's outside of my alma mater. I went to Frostburg State University. Okay. So, yes, it's in Western Maryland. Okay. Uh, it's about two and a half, three hours from Washington, D.C. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's an area. It's like a ski resort. Um, they have mm-hmm. a lot of different cabins. And, you know, people just choose to rent a cabin and have a whole bunch of folks over. Okay. Get in a hot tub, with swimming pool. Hmm. It's like a. Okay. It looks like a house, or a lot of cabins look like houses off MTV Cribs. Okay, so yeah. that's not bad. Yeah, so, so it's another cool. dash. Yeah. Okay, all yeah, right. it's cool. There's nothing really to do in the area, but so to, you really to have ski to ski, and it's it's yeah. So with a place like Deep Creek, you really have to enjoy the person you're with. Yes. Okay. Or the group. Or the group. I, I don't think I would go as a one-on-one thing. Really? It would. It would be more of a group okay. thing for me. So a group. Well, how do you say that? It's it, that's not a vacation at that point. No, it's a it's a, <laughs> it's either an orgy or well, a group trip. I, like well, hey, to each its whatever own. Whatever I mean, really, what to each its own. Hey, I'm sure they. But Deep Creek, I don't know. I don't know there. that I want to do one on one to Deep Creek. But then again, I take that back. You can because well, would it be okay for couples? Yeah, because you I, now, as I think about it, they have you know, like I said, they have the ski resorts. Mm-hmm. You can go skiing. You do um, in the summertime like whitewater rafting. And okay. It's other things to do, but I think because I've gone so many times with my friends mm-hmm. and we've just stayed in the house, mm. and not done anything but I drink that on and, my list. And, and cook yeah. and, and have like a big house party. So I need to really actually explore the area. So right. I take that back. It's okay to go for a vacation. Okay. So I'm going to have to put it on my list because I've never been mm-hmm. and it sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Yeah. But most people so, I know, they go with a, a large with group. With a group of people. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. What about Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Dash. <laughs> She has smash smash and dash. one yet. Smash and dash. <laughs> okay, tell us why. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm when I think of something that's smashing, I want to go 
out of the country or someplace okay. that's really exotic. Mm-hmm. So okay. okay, but LA is cool. We're gonna get there. We're LA, gonna get there. LA is cool. What about Las Vegas? Hmm. <laughs> so this is hard because I I'm on the fence because I I've been to Vegas so many times. Me too. It's but one I of love my favorite Vegas. places. I to love me. Vegas. So Vegas is it's a smash, smash and dash. Yay! Vegas is a smash for me because mm-hmm. it is that. That is literally a place where I sleep on the plane only. Really? Yes. But I can only stay three days. That's the longest amount yes. of time I can be in Vegas. I think I slept my first two days in Vegas. <laughs> so I'm so, my first time in Vegas, I slept the first two days. Terrible. How could I you? Couldn't, first, I was coming straight from not, work. Okay. I couldn't get to the, you know, with the time difference. I was okay. all jacked up. I've been many times and every single time I find something new to do mm-hmm. and it's just, it's just my place. I it's love exciting. Vegas. It's one of my favorite cities in the U.S. Miami. <laughs> I love Miami. She got real, she got a whole warm, fuzzy thing going on with Miami. I love Miami, so, I mean. I've never been. Really? So, please tell me. This must be a mm-hmm. smash for you. It's a smash, but like I said, I can go either way with, with any location you've named, because I'll, I'll have fun anywhere that, okay. I, that I go. What but, is the best thing to do for a, what's a, what's the best option for a vacation in Miami? Miami, I'm frugal. I do the... Um, not it's not called Airbnb, but it's like an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. So I go that route. Okay, and I go because I don't want to spend five hundred dollars a night on a room. Cause right, I'm frugal. I right. want to spend my money on food. Oh yeah, so I'd rather spend money on food. Yeah, than, you know, and activities. I, yeah, so I rented a condo the last time I went to okay. Miami, and you know, and that's probably a really good option. Yes, you know, to feel like you're at really in a home away from home. Right. Especially if you're with Bay, because mm-hmm. you want to feel a little more comfortable than maybe a hotel can yes. offer. Yes, and sometimes you might want to cook for Bay, spice it up hey. on one of those nights in Miami. You know. Well, and you see, we have the caramel here, mm-hmm. and you know, you might just do spice. There's it. all kinds of things yes. you can do. All There's right? a lot of good food in Miami. Um, I the nightlife is great. So, and then you could just chill on the beach. The condo mm-hmm. I rented was right. Like across the street from the beach. Okay. So walk out the room, go straight to the beach and just chill. I love it. Yeah. I love it. All right. We have a few more places. Poconos. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> because I've never been, I would probably make that a dash. Okay. I almost passed. I'm like, you know what? I've never been. Yeah. Every time I think of the Poconos, sorry if you're from there, but I think of that hotel that has the big the champagne. champagne. <laughs> And I can only right. think of all the bodily fluids that might Whoa, be in that. It so it well, just hopefully it's clean. But, it's, you know, there's so many people have been in it. It Ooh. just yeah, it makes my stomach feel a little weird. Mine too. Now that you say that, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be. A I'm, pa- I, I might I think go, it would be a pass yeah, for me. It's just, it, it'd be a pass for me. It's just nothing about it seems exciting. But that's just my ignorance because I haven't been. So. I haven't been either. If somebody so. wants to sponsor me to go to the Poconos, you know, I mean, either one of us, we'll go. You know, I'm adoptable. <laughs> You're adopting adults. So, <laughs> all right, now we're getting it. Okay, so I'm gonna read the other two domestic places and then we'll, Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm-hmm. That'll be. Hmm. A dash. Okay. I mean, or well, maybe a pass. <laughs> it depends. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be PC, so I will reserve my comments about why I don't want to go to Atlanta. You can say whatever you like. No, because I don't want to get any hate mail from oh, people. So. Okay. <laughs> well, it's also a pass for me. Yeah. Only because, um, and I don't know, we may feel the same way, but I've been so many times. Mm-hmm. And I just don't, like, there's nothing that stands... I, I love Atlanta. There's nothing wrong with Atlanta. Mm-hmm. But to go with someone that I'm in a relationship with, I'm just not sure that I would find, you know, things to do like that. No. To be romantical and stuff. Um, you see. know, I don't know. Miss Puff- was it Puffy? Did he have a restaurant down there? He did. Is it still there? Maybe you can go there. At- <laughs> <laughs> Justin's. <laughs> Shout out to Puffy in your restaurant. Yes. If it's still there. Um, I've been to that restaurant many times, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's still open, but I've been many times um, when I've gone before. New York City. Oh, I love New York. <laughs> New York, even though some parts of New York smell like a sewer. Sorry, yes. New York. Yes. Uh, and they have humongous roaches and, and rats. rats. Um, I would still go. So yeah. that would be. I feel like that's part of the package. Yeah. You know? I mean, Nothing's New York perfect. is always a smash for me. So. Me too. I, I love me New too. York. I love yes. it. Yes. All right, the Caribbean. Yes. <laughs> Smash. I'm just thinking about Smash Dexter St. John. Right? Even I'm supposed to be with Bay. I'm sorry. 
I was thinking about Dexter St. Jock coming on the beach just sweating yes. so because I'm gonna look for him even if I am with Bay. Right, Bay act up. I might go see Dexter. I'm just I don't know. Sorry to Bay, but I'm gonna be like Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm looking. And Dexter, gonna... come feed me some of these raspberries and blueberries and pineapple. All of stuff. this. I'm mm-hmm. down. All right. I love the Caribbean, though. I do, too. Many times. And there's still places that I haven't been that I can't wait to visit. Mm-hmm. It'd be great to go with a bay, though. Yes. The Caribbean is just, I think when you, as soon as you step off the plane, it's one of those places that just oozes romance. Yes. You know? So, I love it. Europe. Yes, that would be a smash. <laughs> depending, Any particular place in Europe? Depending on how cold it is. Okay. It's the time of the year. Okay. I haven't been to too many spots in Europe, so mm-hmm. I think I've been what, to Portugal. I would like to go back to Portugal, though. Mm. Mm. Portugal is nice. Mm-hmm. My favorite place, of course, in Europe is Paris. I haven't been there yet. It's gorgeous. Well, you know what? I always say Paris is D.C. and French. Mm. To me, it is. I mean, it's gentrified a, DC, or you know, it's a little bit of all of it. <laughs> but it really, to me, it just feels that way because there's so many, you know, tourist attractions mm-hmm. there, um, and then there's just some, you know, little spots that you can go, and and it's nice, and it, it just it's it, it just feels like DC. The metro system is very similar. Yes, um, it's just in, in French. Okay, so, you know. I used to know how to speak French, but I, I mean, very I, little. I, um, but. I I used to be mm-hmm. like close to fluent, but if you don't use it, you lose you it. Use, so you lose I, it. I don't. I lost it. Same here. I I took French in high school and college, and I literally speak very little. But the but when I was in Paris, I was able to pull it from somewhere. Yeah, and it worked. So. Um, I can I can ask how to go to you know may I go to the bathroom that's probably, right that's the right. only thing I can say. <laughs> <laughs> so all right so you killed that game is there any what's your favorite place to visit with Bay my favorite place to visit with Bay that would require me to have a Bay yes but when so, you have one because you're gorgeous oh, so I know you. that you're not a sing, like you don't stay single long <laughs> fellas if you're watching I mean I'm just like kind of pimping you out right now but. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite place to go with Bay, mm, Mexico. Really? Cancun. Yeah. Tell I've me always why. had a good time in Mexico. Okay. With okay. Bay. Mm. Yeah. What is there, like, is there anything in particular that, outside of what we know goes down, is there anything in particular that happens in Mexico or that makes no. that particular vacation nice? I don't know. I think it's just because we had such a great time mm-hmm. that I guess it's just stuck in my mind that Mexico is the place to be. But I think any place with warm water and beaches, okay. you know, blue water beaches. Is, I agree. I can that's agree a warm with that. water. I'm going to say warm weather. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The French well, the weather is, is warm. Talking. It the is. The weather is. I mean, the water is warm. And those are places yeah. where the water and the weather are always yeah. warm. Yeah. So, why not? So, Jamaica. I would love to go back I to love Jamaica. Jamaica. I love the Bahamas. Yeah. I love... I, there is not too many places in the Caribbean that I don't love. Right. So, actually, I, I always say I'm going to I'm gonna retire in the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm, but already, not without I'm ready to retire now. Me too. With Bay, though. With like Bay. It has to be with Bay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Give me a Dexter or somebody from the Bahamas or... I don't know about America. Dexter. I might not be able to handle Dexter in my <laughs> retirement. <true>. But <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right, so we are going to take a very, very quick break and be right back on Love Dish where we finish talking about the do's and don'ts because we really haven't gotten too far into the do's and actual don'ts Mm -hmm. and um, dig into more of our little drink and our snacks. All right, come right back. We'll be here in just a minute. Welcome back to Love Dish. We are having a blast. We've been talking so much about vacations, vacations with Bay. Um, but I really want to get into some real, like, just straight do's and don'ts. Mm-hmm. Like, what are some flat out do's that you should consider when you're planning this vacation? Flat out do's communicate. Like, okay. have the discussion. I would say face to face and kind of mm-hmm. hash out what it is that you want to do, what you're comfortable with spending. Because that's mm-hmm. like a oh, big, that's major. A big component yeah. is the finances. Like who's paying for what? Are you splitting this? Yeah. Are you taking care of the flight? Is he taking care of the hotel? Right. Who's taking what care of the, the meals? Activities? Right. All that needs to be hashed out yeah. because, you know, I'm more of a laid back person. Mm-hmm. I do some adventure stuff, but I'm yeah. I'm not the skydiving 
parasailing, jumping right. out of anything. Kind and if of he wants to do those things, exactly. So you then, need to know, yeah, what, what's a what's a good compromise because you have to be willing to compromise. So communication, compromise, yeah, okay. and and having a game plan beforehand. So communication, talk about the finances, yes. compromise. Um, anything else as far as dues? Uh, let's see. Do make certain you have the leave to take off work. <laughs> like, make certain you schedule something yes, you know, far enough yes. in advance so you both can, can you know, have your schedules coincide. And then, I mean, while you're there, like, this is Bay. Right. So, what are the expectations? I mean, is this, some, is this a conversation that you should, is this part of that communication process beforehand? Like, if we are six months in mm-hmm. and maybe we haven't, you know, um, had certain experiences, should we talk mm-hmm. about that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. What kind of experiences are you talking about? Well, it though? could be anything. It could be maybe you haven't, you know, maybe we haven't been intimate. Or in maybe six months, we, if we haven't been intimate, we're not going on. <laughs> this, this, this relationship, what is this? <laughs> six months? What are, where are we going? What are we doing? Like, is that what? <laughs> Six months. That's he's in the friend zone, so he's not. Wow, get, really? He's not getting a whiff of anything. No. Like, six months. Like we're friends. <laughs> that's a long so time. Then I guess it doesn't even matter, no, right? That's a friend trip. Really? Friendcation. See, I look at it very differently. Mm-hmm. I think. I mean, you know, it could be six months, and maybe this trip is going to kind of. Open up some doors and opportunities. And if it's six months, my door has been opened by somebody else if, if, <laughs> during that time frame. So I don't know. And he's going with a buddy at that point. We're, we're, this is my homeboy. Right, right. We're going to my, you know, to to you know, Deep Creek right. together. This is my right, homeboy. Right. We're going to so, Atlantic City. To gamble. This is right. my homeboy, and we're coming right back home. And we Same have day. separate beds. Right. <laughs> Cause my it's my homeboy. Well, okay. So that so, ain't that ain't bad. Six, okay. so we've been talking for six months, and you mm, no. I mean, hey, I I understand. Mm-hmm. I do. I mean, I, I to each his own. If you said six weeks, you know, yeah, then you can have that conversation. Like, look, okay, but. <laughs> Six months, I think that's it's, it has expired. I think it has it's expired, and he's yeah. a friend at that point. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Like honestly, that's fair in this day and time. Yeah. Um, communication, mm-hmm. compromising yes. on activities, mm-hmm. um, discussing expectations yes. ahead of time. Mm-hmm. As far as I don't even remember, we, this French martini is talking talk about form, finances. Finances, yes. Yes. Makes, <laughs> I would say when it comes to finances, like. Book your stuff together. You okay. Know, you be at my house or I'm at your house. Right. And we're buying both of our credit Just cards. Just so that everybody's out. on the same page. Right. Because if stuff hits the fan and somebody needs to cancel, right. you know, they can be penalized. And you, I don't That's want so everything true. to be going on one credit card. Like, oh, something happened. And. Yeah, travel insurance. Yeah. Get that too. That's a, that's very that's very yeah. good advice. Now, and so, what about don'ts? What are some absolute don'ts for vacation? Don't. Uh, I would say don't jam pack your schedule with activities. Mm, like, that's have ideas of what you want to do, and don't feel let down if you can't do everything. Because I love that you still need to rest when you're on mm-hmm. vacation, and you know, when you get there, your your mood changes. Yeah, because okay. I had when I went to Jamaica earlier this year, I had. All this stuff, like I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. I spent every day by the pool, drinking yes. and, and, and chilling. Cause I'm like, I didn't, yes. I didn't feel like going on a hiking yeah. trip. I didn't, I didn't book any excursions. Cause I just wanted to chill. Yeah, I love that, and I think that's so important because I have been places with with friends mm-hmm. um, where they're very active. Mm-hmm. They and and the funny thing is that you know we've talked about event planning and those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And so when I, I think when you're in that that realm, when you're in that world. When you go on vacation, you, you just wanna, really just want to relax. You don't want to plan anything. You're just like, let me just oh, chill, go Oh, my goodness. Flow. So true. So anytime I go out of town, that first day, anyone that chill. goes with me, they know. Do not bother me. Do not plan anything for me. The only thing I'm doing is eating. And eating I and may drinking. not even do that. I'm going to sleep that whole first day. I don't care what time I arrive. I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, hey, let's go. Let's get it. Let's, right. You know, right. I'm, I'm good after that. But I need that time. So I think that's really important. Yeah. And what are some other Don't notes? be a Debbie Downer. Like oh, I said, yes. you know, things aren't always going to go as planned, but you are away. And you yeah. know, fix, fix your attitude. Oh. You know, have a drink. You know, sex it out or something. It's just <laughs> anything yeah. but be a Debbie Downer. Right. Because that will kill a trip really quick. It really will. Yeah. And, and if you 
are having, you know, issues or whatever before you go, the trip should really alleviate, alleviate some of that, in my opinion. Resolve right? it before you leave. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Because if you go, you may not be bad when we get back. Right. I agree. So lose the attitude and don't, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else. What's another don't? Hmm. Plan time to rest. Yes. Lose the attitude. What's another one? Hmm. Don't get too, um, I don't know how to even say this. Like, don't get too involved with the other people who might be at your hotel. And What do you mean by well, that? Well, some people, well, I'm thinking about a personal experience. <laughs> I had another, I'm thinking about a bad experience another I had. bad date. You know what? Don't travel while broke. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't travel while That's broke. That's good advice, like, though. Travel within your financial I mean, you ain't got to take the bag, but yeah. at least be able to pay for the things that you agreed upon while you're on your trip. Right. right? So make certain that you can handle bay first before mm-hmm. you start covering other people. What? Like, don't be at the bar buying rounds of no. drinks and then bay asks for something. You're like, oh, I ain't got it. No. Yeah. First of all, you ain't buying nobody else no drinks on my vacation. I, I, I made that mistake <laughs> for somebody who was buying drinks on my, no. my vacation. No. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What about, oh goodness, I had another question I was going to ask you about the don'ts. Um, goodness, I, I don't remember it right now. Maybe I'll come back to it. I so. can give you a, a don't that a yeah. guy told me. Uh oh. Let's hear it. He said to the ladies, he said, oh, don't be on your period. <laughs> He's such a jerk. <laughs> like, that's not something you can control. Right. Really? That, that's what he Come said. On, I was like, really? Come on, dude. Yeah, you no. can't control that. I know what it was. So this might be, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like don't try new sexual experiences on your vacation. Go with what you know. Mm. Go with what works. Or, yeah, is, or is it a do? Don't end up in jail because you have sex <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, you might want to be adventurous, but... Yes, yeah, but with limits. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I feel like if you get... If you... Like, if you've been reading up on some stuff or you buy some products and you want to take them and you mm-hmm. want to try it out, it could really end up going way left. Yeah. You know? And I've had that experience <laughs> you know, I never talk about that on here, but, um, but I have, I've had that experience where I was with someone and I thought, Oh, we can try this, you know, whatever it was. I don't mm-hmm. even remember what it was. And sex sent me to the ER. No, it didn't send anybody to the ER, but it really was a downer. Ooh. And so, <laughs> so it just, it just made for a horrible time. And then the whole time he's looking at me like, you want to try that stuff, right? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, so, ooh, so ooh, I would say, <laughs> So I would say be really mindful about the adventures you want to try intimately, yeah. right? Yeah. All so right. just do the just do the excursions and just save the bedroom stuff yes. for some other time. Save yeah. the bedroom for what you know. Yeah. Already. Stick, stick with the script. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. So are there better vacation spots over others? And I know we kind of have gone through the gamut of like mm-hmm. different places, but are there better places? Are there are there places that are better than others when you're trying to go on vacation with your bank? I can't really say because it really depends on your personality and mm-hmm. what you are looking to do. Because some people like cold weather mm-hmm. activities. I prefer warm weather, weather yeah, activities. So it just too. depends on the person and like what kind of stuff you want to do. Do you want to chill or do you right. want to actually have, you know, all these different excursions? Do you want to backpack mm-hmm. and, and go everywhere? So it really depends. I can't say that it's one particular location. And I think what you said, I think what you said a minute ago with part of the do's and don'ts, Mm -hmm. it kind of plays into that. Like talk about it first, Mm -hmm. kind of get a a good idea from both, from both people about what the expectations are. Be very clear. Manage expectations. Yes. Be very clear about that. I think that is probably the most important thing to Mm -hmm. do regardless is managing expectations (laughs) because when you're, when your expectations are where they should be, then you should have a good time. Right. Right. And another do I just thought about do your research yes. on the location that you're going to because check out the laws of yeah. the land and oh the lay of the land because you don't know if you're your hotel or is right next to the brothel or, oh. you know, as when I was in. <laughs> and you might want that, but if you, you, you might. Right. <laughs> I was in Portugal. I was in like a four or five star hotel and wow. I walked around the corner and it was a lot of prostitutes. Oh my goodness. And so you just don't know. And it's funny because when you've never been somewhere, mm-hmm. you don't know what the lay of the land is, right. you know, until you get there. So read the reviews. So, reviews yeah. are important. 
I must be honest. I um, went to New Orleans one year mm -hmm. and I was just kind of like gallivanting, going everywhere. And somebody was like, hey, you don't really need to go down that street. And I'm like, why? You know, <laughs> but it just so happened that, you know, that particular street, people were being snatched. People, I mean, Ooh. it was all kinds of crazy things Ooh. happening, but literally it's a block away from where we were just having a blast. So right. I think doing your research is super important. Yes. And your knowing research. your surroundings. I mean, always knowing your surroundings, mm -hmm. but um, but doing that little extra layer when it's a place that you've never been to. You right. Know? And and no disrespect to New Orleans. I love New Orleans. I do too. But there are, you know, just like everywhere, mm -hmm. there are places that you should, you know, just be mindful of. Right. So, yeah. So, all right. Well, I love these do's and don'ts. Um, I think I feel very equipped now. To go somewhere with Bay, maybe. Yeah. Now we just gotta get a bay. Yes. That's the only thing left. I'm so bayless. we're we're gonna cheers one more time and drink to that. But then I have one last question okay. for you. Um, and I ask this question of everyone that comes on the show. We've talked all about vacationing with Bay. We've talked about the do's and don'ts. We've talked about places that are great and places that we, you know, probably should just take a L on. What is your greatest hope? For love, because all of this kind of surrounds like somebody that you're feeling, somebody mm -hmm. that you have some type of love feelings for. Mm -hmm. What is your greatest hope for love? My greatest hope for love. Oh my gosh, how much time do we have? <laughs> uh, let's see. My greatest. Hope we got for all love. the time you need. <laughs> I need you to like to insert the the Jeopardy music <laughs> as I think on this question. Are you gonna edit this out, please? <laughs> <laughs> my greatest hope is that. People will get into that agape love, that they will mm. truly love their yeah. partner and that they will, you know, be respectful of the relationship yeah. and never allow. What I always say is don't allow outside factors to disturb the peace in your home. And uh -huh. a lot of people allow outside factors, whether it be, you know, um, social media, right. you know, DMs mm -hmm. with other people, just like just outside factors. Like I want people to get back to just love and, yeah. and respect and, and commitment. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Agape love is key. And communication. And I, and I was going to say, and I think part of, of getting to the place of agape love comes with communication. Yes. You know, because if you're not talking to each other, then you really don't have a chance at it. So, right. Yeah. I love that. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. So tell people how they can get in touch with you, how they can keep up with what you're doing, how they can find you, all of that information. Yes. I'm all over social media. The website is thisdateisover.com. Um, you can send me your stories, read some of the bad date stories that are on there. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at date is over, and also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash thisdateisover. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And so um, we are going to continue talking. For the sake of the show, we're going to end things here. Um, thank you so much for coming. This thank has you for been, having me. Yes, this has been so fun. We have a wonderful drink. We have great snacks. We've had wonderful conversation. And um, we're going to keep it going. All right. We're going to keep it going. So thank you again for watching. I'm K.S. Lewis with Angela Perry. We talked about vacations today on Love Dish. And check out below the ingredients to how to make your own French martini and leave a comment below. And do not forget to subscribe. In the meantime, we will see you next week. Take care. Sit right here, my dear Come on, baby, open up about your fears Let's talk about love Laughs and tears, I hope that I make it clear For you, love, I'm here Baby, just show me your heart You know that this could be the very start Let's bring together